Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. It is now mid-October zone 5b and it is now time for me to harvest my sweet potatoes. The reason why I'm growing my sweet potatoes vertically because I am limited on space and that doesn't mean that you can't grow certain vining vegetables when you're limited on space. So I find these beer barrels really wonderful to grow certain uh, crops vertically. Now the sweet potato vines are starting to die back and I do believe it is now ready for harvesting. We are looking at getting frost over the weekend. The nighttime temperatures have now dropped to below 30 so you can see how the leaves here are wilted and that is a result of the nighttime temperatures um, getting below 30 degrees and, and of course everyone knows sweet potatoes is a heat loving uh, crop so it is time to get out here and get these sweet potatoes harvest I'm hoping I have a good harvest this year I didn't I have a good harvest last year so I made some course corrections and we shall see what happens so I'm going to continue cutting back the foliage before I dig up the um, sweet potatoes I made sure this time I didn't feed it too much nitrogen because last time I had more foliage and less sweet potatoes. So we shall see. Okay, so I pretty much have the foliage and I'll go ahead and pull this trellis out and see what happens. Okay, so let me go ahead. I don't want to mess up the sweet potatoes if they're in there. So I want to make sure that I am able to uh, dig them up without puncturing the potatoes. Well, here's one potato, small though. Oh, here's another one, that's small, but it's another potato. And um, let's see what we have here. Doesn't look like I got too many potatoes this time. Let me see if I can dig some more up. Here's another one. There's another sweet potato, so that's three. Not the kind of harvest I was expecting, but everyone knows gardening is, is trial and error. You live and learn. I don't know if there's any more over here. I don't want to puncture anything that... Let me see what I have over here. I have another vine over here. No, I don't see anything here either.
Well, it looks like I didn't have a very good harvest. Oh, here's another one. There's another one. That's a small, that's four, but they're very small. I think I've seen another one down here. Nope, it looks like it wasn't a very successful harvest, but I'm not going to fret. If you fail, you try, try again. Keep making course corrections. I did use sweet potato slips, and unfortunately, I did start a little late in putting the sweet potato slips out. We were having spring snow, spring frost, and this is a hot weather vegetable and I'm thinking what I may do differently this time is instead of trying to wait until the weather warms up I can do one or two things I've learned that people will put black plastic over the soil in order to keep the soil warm until the, the sweet potato slips are able to, to um, actually take off because I, I, I planted the sweet potatoes right, the sweet potato slips right into the soil. But I had to wait until June in order to ensure that the soil was warm. And so unfortunately, it doesn't look like I got enough time, I, I pr pr allowed enough time to do that. So I think next year, my course correction is going to be one or two things. This is zone 5B and I'm determined to figure out how to grow sweet potatoes in this climate. It is a long season crop and it is a hot season crop. Therefore, what I would do, what I am going to do is take the sweet potato slips and I'm gonna go ahead and start growing them in containers, small containers, until they get really established and I'm gonna put black plastic over the soil until I know that our nighttime temperatures are above 60 degrees, which is usually maybe around early June. Colorado has really finicky weather and at times we do get these cool, cool, cool um, weather where it may dip down to 60 degrees even in May. Or we may, not, or we may have some nighttime temperatures that are below 60 degrees. I'm going to make some adjustments and hopefully next year I should be able to produce a real healthy crop. But thanks for watching. Keep in mind that there are trial and errors in gardening and once we learn the right process or procedure, we can have successful crops. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.